What's going on everybody? This is Finn again with Finn TV. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to tie my favorite crappie jig. Uh, to start off with, I've got a 1 16th ounce jig head that I have, uh, I have poured. I've got it powder coated in uh, OS powder coating chartreuse. Uh, got some 5 16th eyes with a silver backing. Uh, I'm using an olive thread here. It is a wax thread. Right here, I'm gonna uh, put a little cement on the on the thread here to kind of secure my thread. That's something that I try to get into a habit of doing, just to kind of lock that thread to the hook just a little bit better. Uh, sorry about my camera right here. I'm still learning the autofocus uh, feature. Maybe if somebody knows how to how to help me keep that in focus a little better. So right here, I'm giving it a few more wraps and uh, adding my marabou feather. That is a chartreuse. Order those from uh, uh, lureparts.com. I start right here. I give just a, just a loose wrap here. And then I start, uh, in a minute here, I'll trim that feather and then I'll give it a good tight wrap. Right now I want to take the time to, uh, to thank everybody that subscribed and liked the videos and helped grow the channel. Uh, still figuring out the, like I said, still figuring out the, the camera for the most part, but if you'll bear with me, I'll get that figured out. If anybody can help, just let me know. Got a pink feather I'm fishing. I add marabou feather. And I, like I said, I order this stuff from lureparts.com. This stuff's pretty inexpensive. Uh, but I like this marabou feather. Uh, I, sometimes I prefer a bucktail. I uh, started using some of this synthetic uh, material. Liking it a little bit better than the bucktail. Um, time will tell whether I what I stick with but for years I've used the bucktail and uh, and the marabou feather but now that you know this uh, uh, synthetic material has come a long ways and it it really ties to make a, a, a real good looking jig right here I'm just gonna cut a little bit of, of this marabou feather off of the, the feather stem I'm straightening the feathers out right here try to get those as straight as possible I like to leave my marabou feather a little bit long and try to trim them up afterwards to get more of a uniform tail and give that some tight wraps then I'll add the uh, uh, Chanel material. Do that a few more wraps. This is a medium size chartreuse chenille. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna uh, wrap it in a medium uh, pink chenille. Uh, and basically the color pattern that I'm going for is uh, um, a, uh, what I call an electric chicken color. And this is a, one of my favorite, I'm gonna say this is my third favorite jig uh, that I tie here and I hadn't been tying these very long but uh, we have purchased these before and if you crappie fish much around here we fish a, a lot of structure and we lose a lot of jigs so with the price of jigs it really makes more sense to, to tie them on my own I kind of get more of what I want I get to pick my you know the best hooks I get to pick the hook that I like 
the head style that I like, the materials that I want to use, and I'm not limited to what I can get at you know some box store. Uh, you know, I can I can pick the materials that I want, use the best hooks because a lot of times you can get a good looking jig, but you've got a small hook or or you've got a hook that's just really not that sharp. And when you make your own jigs, I mean, yeah, I can I can probably pour. I don't know, maybe 60 jigs and, um, you know, clean them up and powder coat them all within an hour, hour and a half. And then I take after, you know, I recure the powder coat, I add my eyeballs and I can pick whatever color eyeballs that I want, if I even want any at all. And, um, you know, it just doesn't cost a whole lot. Uh, you, the, you save a lot, it, the amount of jigs that we go through crappie fishing you just it, it really just makes more sense to to make them because I am really particular about the colors because the crappie around here you can't just put anything in their face like you used to it sometimes you have to change colors uh, but here I, what I've done is I've wrapped this uh, pink Chanel and this green Chanel to make my own color Chanel um, I don't know if you can buy this uh, I imagine you can I just hadn't found it but I really like this look, and uh, I, if I had a better vise, I could. What I would normally do is uh, spin the vise. But since this is a cheap vise, the vise is stationary, and uh, it's really better if you could afford a two or three hundred dollar vise. It's really better to do that. But I just don't see spending that kind of money, being that I don't really sell these jigs here. If I'd done it more of a of a production, I guess I could see um, spending more on a good vice, but being that I just, we just kind of, me and Grayson just do this for, for fun, mostly on rainy days and cold days. Um, right here, I'm gonna give it a few wraps, put my knot, I don't have a whip finish too, we've got one in the mail, should be here Wednesday. We'll start doing a whip finish, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, cement to the head, super glue to the head just kind of uh, makes me feel a little bit better that that's not going to come untied right here I'm just kind of trimming up the the stray pieces and I'm I'll wet the jig and show y'all what it looks like wet All right, here's what it looks like wet. I've trimmed the tail. Appreciate y'all guys for watching. Until next time, y'all be safe. Keep me and my family in your prayers. Thank y'all for watching.